Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? How are you doing good evening, this evening? Here. How was your weekend? It was very good. Nice, good to hear that. It's really good, man. It was really good. What do you okay, do? Nice. Mm, right now, I'm just getting ready for taking the class. Nice, nice. All right. Very good job. I'm very glad to hear that you're okay. ready to take the class, right? Okay. <laughs> very good, guys. Very good. All right. What about the rest, guys? What do you do on your weekend? And how are you doing with the platform, by the way? What do you think? Did you finish the platform, guys? I'm done, teacher. You're done, okay. All right, great. Is everybody else done, guys? You should be done by now, right? Did you finish it? Or are yes, we still I missing guess some I finished. Mind? Okay. All right. All right, all right. Awesome. All right. Very good, guys. Right. Very good. So what about uh what about you, Raul? How was your weekend? Uh it was great. Um did a lot of things. I uh, I've been studying and I spent time with my family as well. Okay. All right. Very good, very good. Okay, that's excellent, guys, excellent. Okay, guys, so anyways, we're going to continue talking about Unreal Conditionals, okay? And I got an exercise for you guys. So um, so we went over, guys, the structure of Unreal Conditionals last time, right? And what do you say Unreal Conditionals or Second Conditionals are used for, guys? What do we use them for? Do you remember? Yes, what do we use second conditional for? Yes, tell me. We use the the verb in the past. Okay, so we use the verb in the past. Okay. Um that is correct. We use the verb in the past, but why do we use a second conditional? Why? What's the main reason? Tell me, do we use it to talk about what? On real conditional. Okay, on real conditional. Very good. Very good, right? Um, okay, on real conditionals. And that's, yeah, that's how they're called. But we used to talk about imaginary situations, right? In the past, present, or the future, guys. I think in the future. Both can in past. Okay. All right. Both in the present and the future, not in the past. Okay. Not in the past. Don't get confused 
about that, okay? So you know, guys, the structure, right? We have an example here. If I were you, I would drive more carefully in the rain, okay? How many examples did you give me last time, guys? Last example. Yes. Uh, if I have time, I will visit to my family. Okay, very good, very good, okay. All right, do my favor, guys, okay? So uh, so we went over the structure. Um, I want you guys to, did, did we go over these exercises last time, guys? I think we didn't because we ran out of time. Did we go over these exercises last time or not? No. No, right? Okay, all right. So first of all, guys, I want you, we're gonna, we're, let's do a quick, a quick review, okay, on second, on second conditionals. Well, the example is here, guys, but I'm gonna, you know, just type in the structure, right? So for the structure, guys, we have four, four sentences. We have if plus simple past plus subject, right? Plus would plus base form verb plus complement, right? This is the structure. So the example would be if, I'm gonna give a real life example, right? If, if what guys? If I, or let's, let's use a third person, right? If Cheyenne were poor, if Cheyenne were poor, he would not sing, right? This is an example. Or you can say, Cheyenne would not sing if he were poor. Remember, guys, why do we use were and not was, even though we're talking about a third person? Why, guys? Why? Hey, I gave you this answer last time, right? Tell me. Tell me why. Imagine situation. Imaginary situations. Exactly. Good job, Joanna. Ooh, thank you. Good job, right? Great. Thank you. All right, guys. So I want everybody, guys, okay, we went over this, the structure on this last time. So I want everybody to give me five examples of something. I want you to do funny examples, okay? You can say, I wish my feet weren't so smelly. <laughs> All right. Do you know what this means, guys? Mm -hmm. You know what that means? Okay. So I want you to write down examples like that, okay? All right, this means the sería que mis pies no fueran tan horrorosos, right? Which is which is not the case, guys, right? But it's just a fun example, right? Hey, by the way, guys, you know, you know, you know what is the best thing that you can use for your feet if that happens to you? You know what is the best thing? You can use a stick the other end. You know what that is? <laughs> Like, like, have you ever heard like lady speed, lady speed stick? Have you heard? Have we ever heard about that, guys? Those are the the other ends, like that look like this. And they have something like this, and they have like a little thing here, like a little thing that you can turn. The other one is the object you use later to take a shower. Yes, yes, right? 
So now, si, si reconocen este tipo de restaurante, the, the, the steak. Yes or no, yes. guys? So yes. yeah, <laughs> these guys, this is really good for your feet. Do you know that? They, they will never smell bad if you use them. <laughs> Just letting you know. <laughs> it's a good trick, you know? It's a good trick. But anyways, instead of using, you know, instead of using food powder, right? Food powder, sorry. Right? Anyways, so I want you guys to give me five funny examples like this, okay? Five examples. Okay, so let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so how many examples do we have? We're still not done? All right. Teacher. Tell me. Is correct uh, my son wishes to know to Jenna Ortega? Is correct? No, no, no. Okay. Yes, you can say... Don't guess what. Ah. So you can say, you know, my son wishes to know Jenna or Tega, right? Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. But but guys, okay, this example I gave you was to give me um like like fun examples, right? But if I want the structure guys of the second conditional. So if you know my you can say your example, right? If my my son wanted to meet Jenna Ortega, right, he would talk to her, right, or he would call her. Okay, so th this this is like the examples that I want, guys. Okay, following the structure that I gave you before, right? But a fun example, right? So. Follow this example right here, okay? These are the examples that I want you to follow, guys. Sorry about the confusion. So go ahead, guys. Now we're gonna Thank talk you. about wish. We're gonna talk about wish later, right? But right now, let's focus on, you know, the structure of a second condition. So let's go. Very good, Liana Maria. Um, that is a right. That is an example of a first conditional. So remember that we used the past, right? If you stood in the rain, you would get wet. That would be a right example, okay? But good job. Sure, I have one. Tell me, tell me, please. If Joe Biden were live in El Salvador, he would eat pupusas. Now, the example should be like this, right? Remember to follow the, the structure. If Joe Biden lived in El Salvador, he would eat pupusas. Okay. Very I can't good. use the where. No, not, not in this example. Because this is a verb in simple past and this is a verb in simple past. In what scenario does this make sense? This is simple past and this is simple past. Uh, is past y en past. Entonces, no, no se puede usar pasado y pasado. Redundante. No, you, you cannot say that, no. Uh, you can say, okay. if Joe Biden lived in El Salvador, if, you, if Joe Biden were in El Salvador. You can also say this, right? All right, that that is correct. But where where is for um, a second conditional, verdad? Yeah, we're talking about second conditionals. Yes. Pero si no fuera second conditional, usar a was, verdad? No, if it is a real situation, you use was. If it is a real situation, uh, right? Yes. Okay, I try also... this. Okay, right. And you can also say if Joe Biden, right, lived in El Salvador. That is also correct. If I had more time, I would visit every country in the world. Very good, Raul. That is correct. That is perfectly correct.
Okay, so um, all right. So, do we have anybody else with another example? All right, I'm gonna be asking each of you guys. I'm just gonna give you two more minutes so you can finish your examples, and then I'm gonna start asking everyone. Okay. So let's do that. Right. All right, so, all right, so let me start asking, okay? So I'm gonna start asking people who have their camera turned off, all right? So let's start with Tanya. Hello, Tanya. Do you have one example? I'm sorry, could not hear you. Could you please get closer to the microphone? 
Hey, can you? Yes. So what is your example? If I live in Italy, I will eat pizza every day. If I lived in Italy, Ray, I would eat pizza every day. Very good. Thank you very much. That is excellent. Thank you. Leanne, I think you sent me your example, right? Uh, if I won the lottery, I would travel a lot. That is correct, Leanne. Alejandra, if you cooked Mexican food for me, I would be very happy. Excellent. I love Mexican food. If I knew how to play the guitar, I would start a band. Very good. Good job, too. Raul Edson, I wish my girl would spend more time with me. Very good example, Edson, and very sad. <laughs> uh, Raul, if I didn't have to work, I would spend more time with my family. Very good. If we left now, we would avoid the traffic. Very good job, Raul Edson. Again, I wish my dog would stop barking. Very good. Raul, I wish I knew how to play. Yes, Raul. Raul, I got a lot from Raul. Good, good examples, guys. Okay, good examples. All right, uh, let's hear Yancy. What's your example, Yancy? Good night, teacher. Teacher. Um, I don't know is correct, but uh, I, if I have more money, I go live in an Iceland. All right, very good. If I had more money, I would live in an island. Repeat. Yes. If I have more money, I would live in a nice land. In an island. Okay. Yeah, it's it's spelled like this with an S, but you don't pronounce it. island. Island. Very, very good. Island, yes. Okay. So, good job. Thank good you, job, teacher. Right? Yeah, no problem. Thanks to you. Teacher, I have a question for the pronunciation of island. Tell me. Why the S, the S is mute? I have no idea, man. That's I just think how for you pronounce the country. For the country, Iceland. Oh, that, that would make sense. That would make sense, you know. But, but, but no, I, I think, I, no, I, I don't think so. I think it's because of the word in English, because this right here, Right, that's also you know pronounced like aisle, you know. So, so yeah, uh, it's just pronunciation in English sometimes is they do have an origin, right? But they don't follow any rule, and this is one of those cases, it's not following any rule, okay? Okay, right. So that's that's you know that's that's what's going on here. All right, very good. So let's see, Fernando, do you have an example? Oh, sorry, I had off the Microsoft the microphone. Oh, yes, we ahead, have. If I travel to United States, I would to get a good job. Okay, so if I traveled to the United States, I would get a good job. Okay, very good, very good. All right, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Was that you, Edgar? Did you give me that example? Not yet, teacher. Okay, give me your example then. And then join us. Okay. If you participate in the election... You participated. Would, if you participated in the election, people will choose you. Very good. In that election, people would choose you. Very good. Very good. Okay, so we have, okay, good job here, good job here, good job here. Now, one thing that I'm forgetting here, guys, if you start with the if clause, you need a comma, right? Remember that. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, Joanna, 
Go ahead. Um, if my house were big, I would have a pool. I would have a pool. Very good. If my house were big, I would have a pool. Very good. Cecilia. If I won the lottery, I would I would buy I would like to buy a new house. I would buy a new house. Okay. You don't need to say I would like, guys, okay? It is okay, but you don't need to say that. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh all right, so we got uh Catherine or Irma? No. Jessica. Go ahead, Catherine. Irma. Or your I don't know, Irma first and then Catherine, I suppose. So okay. If my mom were there, she would have a good restaurant because she cooks very delicious. Good job. If my mom were a chef, a chef, not chef. Remember that for cannibal nouns, we need to use an article, right? Very good. Catherine, go ahead, Catherine. Okay. If I were to live in another country, I will go to Korea. To live in another country, I would I would live in Korea. Yeah. All right. Very good. Good job. Excellent, guys. Does anybody else want to share their example? Okay, very good. All right, so we're going to go back now, guys. If you don't have more examples, let's go back to the presentation okay and let's solve these exercises okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna send you guys well first of all guys do you have any questions if you do please let me know you good all right so I'm gonna have a question for second conditional. Tell me, tell me. Uh, can I use for plural? Yes, you can use them with plurals, yes. Well, uh, give me an example. <coughs> Jesus. Yes, you can Let use it with picture. plural. You can say if they were here. If they had, you can say if they worked here before you can say that yeah man you can use them like that yes yes you can use remember the verbs can be conjugated in any form right so of course you can use plurals plurals right the structure is the same thing the exact same structure instead of instead of i you can say you instead of you you can say he instead of he you can say it right instead of it you can say they Instead of they, you can say we. Instead of we, you can say the men over there, right? Of course, you can use plurals, right? So very good, guys. Very good. Okay, so I'm sending you guys, I'm sending you some exercises that we, uh, that I want you to complete there. Okay. And choose, you know, what the right answer is for each of them, Okay. And then I have a conversation, some conversation topics that we are going to be practicing today, okay? So anyways, let's solve those six exercises that I sent you guys. I'm going to couple you up and let's start working on them right now, okay? So let's go, guys. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go ahead, guys. Let's join the rooms, okay? Let's join the breakout rooms, please. Because there are people who are alone. So let's join. Yes. Uh, hello. I'm trying to get to someone, okay? 
Okay, teacher. Yes. You know, it's hard for people to join. All right, so let's see, Joanna, number four. puede controlar o English yes English English only right uh, I think in this first is where because it's a situation imagine situation imaginary imaginary situation imaginary situation yes 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 it's correct where yes yes you yes exactly because, you need to use where yes was is for is from events real yes events that are real exactly give me give me okay. one second okay i'll be right back hold on okay this is uh, the question it is uh, exercise number one, number number one if there were no mosquito mosquito there will be no malaria. Correct? Yes. In mm. the other? Jancy. Okay. The other question. Exercise if I a penny for every can of soda. It drowned in my life. I will be rich. Mm -hmm. If I. Do you use every can for every can? Will be the number letter A. I will have letter A. I will have a penny for even can of soda. I've drunk. In my life, I would be rich. Mm -hmm. hey, what is Penny? What is Penny? Penny is a Penny. name, verdad? Give me one second. Let me check. Penny is... Um, centavo? Ah, centavo. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I think it's a <laughs> number. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I think... The, the number. Name, name la cosa, the name. number. The name. <laughs> Qué error. Qué error, but catastrophic number. Name. Okay, if I will. Mm, you can. If I will. Nosotros tenemos un centavo. Algo así viene siendo. Quiero ver. If I have. No, if I will have a penny for. Every can of soda I drunk all my life, I would be rich. Si tuviera un centavo por cada soda que he tomado en mi vida, sería rico. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, uh, ah, very, creo que sería would have. Would have because it's a imagine situation. And will is future situation for, for real. 
for real. Ok, entonces, Yes. ok, ok, entonces, letter C. Entonces sería, if I, if I would, would have yes. a penny for every, If I, okay, one, one thing is, if I would have, it's not possible, okay? You need No. to use, no, it's if I had, I would, all right? Have, in past. If I had, yes, in past, yes. This is a letter D, teacher. It, it's what, I'm sorry? It's, it's a, a letter D in this case. Yes, that would be letter D. Teacher, why not use would have because it's an imagine situation? Because as I so I said that if will be used with simple past. If I would have, would have is not simple past. Would Oh, have okay. is a present conditional and it should be used uh in the main clause, not at the if clause, the main clause, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, drugs in my life. Give me one second, Fernando. I Okay. write in my book. <laughs> I would be rich. Okay. The next exercise. Also, mm -hmm. yes, Catherine. Uh, if the, you could the, change one thing about yourself, uh -huh. if you what could would change you change? One, one thing about yourself, what would you change? Remember that that's the pronunciation is would. Good. No, not good. No. Would. Would, yes. It's an Good. it's an ooh, right? It's an ooh like huevo. Huevo would. Good. Not good. You're saying good. Good doesn't exist. It's would. Well. Would. Well. If yes. you well change one thing about yourself. What will, will you change? What would you change? I, Catherine? I will change to be more sociable. What will you change? I have a question, teacher. In tell me, this tell case, me. in this case, uh, if her hair were black, she, uh, the this the possible uh, request, right? or is will look is possible. Um, I'm sorry. Can you repeat your question again? And and I think the with Fernando and the and the letter A will look in this in this case the exercise number three. If her hair were black, she will look. She would look, yeah. You can yeah, that would be correct, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, from this is it's correct. looks yes that that is correct okay. and would look is not correct listen you can say if if she looked if he looked if he looked and then they would or she would okay thing is that if you use if you need to use simple past yes okay the clause if goes together with simple past 
is similar at the uh, and the example anterior, but for the previous example. Previous example, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. And the other, the exam, the exercise four, if smoking were a low will, I, um, if smoking were allowed, I, um, in this case, is will have, have, will have. Will have. Yo tendría un cigarrillo. No, will have. Will you say would have. Would have. Would yes. have. Yes. The letter will C, have. Fernando. Letter yes. C. Yes. Would have. Okay. The number. Five. You finish, uh, Fernando, or? Uh, no, I write in this moment, but okay, I okay. near to finish. Okay, no problem. Would have. Would have, yes. I finish. Okay. All right. We're going to go back in and um, answer those questions. Hey, guys and girls, welcome back. How is it going? All right, guys. Uh, let's answer those questions, okay? Try to answer those questions, and then, um, and then just practice the questions that I got there. Okay, so, but let's go over each of the answers for each of these. Okay, so we got number one, and number one will be if where there where, where. Well. exactly very good. Thank you. Good job. If I had. Had, right, remember Hi. that we are always going to use if plus simple past, guys. Remember that. Hey, you, can, you cannot say if I would. Okay, you cannot say that. Right. Uh, if I if her hair were black, she would look. Would we'll look. look. Exactly. Very good. If smoking were allowed, I would have. Would have I would have a cigarette. Very good. If if the weather were, were better, better, were better, we would we, go to the park. Yeah. Very good job. Good where? Girl. No, this is where. I would. Because it's an imaginary situation, right? And number six. We'll be on the beach if we were in Mexico. Good job, guys. If we were in Mexico, right? Very good job. Very good job. All right. Do we have any questions so far, guys? So far, Teacher, I have a me. question for where and was. Uh, where only use, o sea, yo recuerdo que where se, se usaba solo en plural, but in this case. No, no Spanish, but go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But in this case, you use in an imagined situation and was, you, you can use for what? In second conditionals, as long as it is a second conditional, you will always use where? Only on second conditional. Yes. 
That is correct. That is correct, sir. All right, very good. So guys, uh, you have a couple of questions here. Let's practice them, okay? So we're gonna go back, guys. And let's practice them, all right? Very good job. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is there if there if there were no mosquitoes, there would be no malaria. Yes. There. And you say the were. two. Okay. Uh, number two is if I had if I had a penny for every can of soda if drunk in my life, I will be rich. Go ahead, number three. Okay, number three is if her hair were black, she looks completely different. Okay. She, she would look, she would. She, she would. would. Yes, she will look. She would look. Okay, number four, number four, I'm sorry, number four. If smoking were allowed, I would have a cigarette. Okay, and number five, what is? The number five is, and if the water is the if the water were better, we will go to the park. This it is the letter, letter, letter B. No, no letter A, A. The first. Can you repeat, please, the answer? Yes. If the weather were better, we will go to the park. Only where? This is a letter. If the weather a, a, were better, right? Were better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Only weather in this case. If the weather were no, no if, if the weather, the weather were, where where okay better we will go will go All right, how are we doing here, girls?
What happened? I will. I will, I will choose him. beans. Yeah, beans. Beans. What happened with beans? We are choosing the the food that we only eat for the rest of your of our life. <laughs> okay. I I will choose rice and beans. <laughs> Rice and beans? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. What about right. you, Joanna? We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to go back now, okay? Okay. All right. Guys and girls from the Flat Universe. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. All right, guys. Um, so tomorrow, guys, we're gonna go over the last part of the platform. Please work on it, guys. We should be finished by now. But tomorrow, guys, I'm gonna go over the fifth section and also the midterm, right? The final exam. Okay. So try to finish it today if you have not finished it, guys. And tomorrow we're gonna go over it. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Good night, teacher. Oh, see you.